Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby Delta episode. Here we are, we're here at the climax of the story. Our jolly green giant of a god Pokemon, Rayquaza, has descended from the heavens to grace us with his long, slender form. You thought I was going to perfect, huh? Nah. But either way, we got the green snake god here. And we gotta fight him, so uh, let's do it. Rayquaza. Here we go. Rayquaza up here. Let's go, Salibra. All right, so. Oh my god, he's level 70. Oh, this was extremely um, under level for this. OK, YOLO. Mega Evolve into Blaze Kick. Well, we need to catch this guy. All right, let's go. Mega laser gun. Dragon dance, okay. Standard stat boost. All right, I, I respect it, I respect it. But uh, I'm still gonna kick you in the mouth, boy. Wow, that did pity damage. Jesus. Hmm. You're flying dragon type of armor. Right? This, is, this, is, uh, this is suboptimal conditions. <laughs> I've got swing. Not very effective. Oh god, he's stacking. Oh no. Oh no, I, I can't let this line. Oh, I, I need to make sure you go down fast. <laughs> um, play skip. Might as well keep going with the stab moves. Why would you double. Jesus. Double dragon dance into extreme speed. Yikes. Especially because the stream is priority move, he's always gonna go first with that. Kick you again. Oh, he's burned this time. Okay, he's flying in the air. That's fine. You gotta you're gonna have to come back down eventually, buddy. You're gonna have to come back down, and this is gonna hurt me a lot more than it hurts you. Oh my god. <laughs> Quite literally gonna hurt me a lot more than it hurts me here, Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh god. Oh god, he just- oh my god. <laughs> he just dive-bombed me. And it looked- it kind of looked like it, they just stuck this model the way it's sitting like that. And they just threw it straight vertically, and I was like, okay, interesting. Uh-huh. Alright, so we should be able to catch him, right? Alright. Alright. Oh. Let's try. Crowd on, why weren't you like this? <laughs> it took me one try. <laughs> God damn it, Crowd on. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try doing a Dexter voice. I haven't done it in a hot minute. <clears throat> I haven't caught a Pokemon in a hot minute either, Jesus. Rayquaza is said to live. Wait, let me try that again. <clears throat> Rayquaza, the sky high Pokemon. Rayquaza is said to have lived for hundreds of millions of years. Legends remain of how it put to rest the clash between Kyogre and Groudon. Alright, we're not gonna name him. Alright, nice. Rayquaza wishes to join your party. Uh, yes. Phoebus, we love you, but you got to go home. Goodbye. Is it over? Congratulations, Tomb. And... Thank you. History has chosen you. The truth that remains... The truth remains that Rayquaza chose you and not me. But... While I don't know how to put into words exactly, I think I understand why. You will be the successor to our long history now. And I pass to you the final key to Rayquaza's true power. The only... The move that only it can learn. Dragon Ascent. Rayquaza succeeded to the power of Dragon Ascent. That's it then. I guess it's time that I do my last task as Lore Keeper. You have obtained Rayquaza's power for your own. Now I will have you prove to me that you can master that power. In battle. That is my final... 
The final duty of the last lore keeper of the Draconid people. Show to me that you can exceed it. The entirety of history that we have clung to until today. Phew. My pulse. I can feel it racing. Yes. I'm feeling totally pumped. This is it. A Gudra. Oh. Legendary Mega Rayquaza Delta Stream. A mysterious air current is protecting flying types. And here's Dragon Ascent for the first time. Neat. Oh, my defense and special defense fall for that. <laughs> well, as if I need defenses after I just mollywob you. Ooh, a Tyrantrum. Yeah. Dragon Pulse. Bye bye. Good work, Rayquaza. All right, cell leveled up. Nice. Altaria. Ew. Hate this thing. Get out of my face. Get it away from me. Goodbye. Cease to exist. Alright, that takes care of Altaria. Pride is level 55. I like it. I respect it. Astalos, 55. Nice, nice. Oh, oh no, even. He's pulling off, like, okay. I know I've said, like, I like a lot of Pokemon, but that's because there is a lot of cool looking designs for some of them. Noivern is one of them. Gudra was one of my favorite defensive dragon types ever. I like, uh, I forgot the name of the dragon from, from, uh, Sun and Moon. I don't remember it. It sucks. Cuomo or something along those lines. Unfortunately, the dragon was never good. Like, ever. The stats were garbage. Didn't really do much. His move pool was kind of questionable. And it's like I, I wanted to like that dragon, like aesthetically and you know how he looked. Like, like everything about him was cool, and I was like, yes. Also, Zinni, goodbye. Just like I'd expect of you, Atum. But unfortunately, that dragon was just you know never good battle wise anyway. I guess it falls to you now. That settles it then. Atum, you should even be able to beat that meteoroid that's approaching the planet. You and Rayquaza together. I'm leaving this task to you, our new successor. Successor Atum. You and Rayquaza must protect nature, Pokemon, the people. I thought she was going to say the whole world there. Hey, we busted out the magma suit. Which is a good idea because we're heading into the stratosphere here. Alright, just sonic boom on out of there. Jesus. That's gotta be ridiculously fast. That is a gorgeous view there. All 
I hit him up with the one punch man. It's my boy! Deoxys, the DNA Pokemon, has appeared. Level 80, Jesus. Oh boy, this is gonna be a... Gonna be one heck of a fight. Hmm. What to do here? Let's do Dragon Ascent. Oh my god! That was painful. Or I just one shot you. Okay. I, I guess. I guess. I don't even know. Like, for real? I just one shot the Oxus. I meant to catch you, but I get. <laughs> oh my god. He just exploded. Oh, man. Well, it kind of sucks that I couldn't catch him on screen. I really wanted to. <laughs> I'm not going to be fussed because I own a Deoxys anyway. Received a letter from Aster. Bye-bye, right, Aster. I was finally able to bring everything to an end. I thank you for that. I think I'll spend some time now trying to find out if it's also possible to forge a new beginning for something we once lost. Until we meet again, Zinnia. The energy reading appears to be diffusing. Oh, wait, that was a lady reading that. We can confirm that the meteorite has been destroyed, sir. B -b -b Professor! The meteorite, the meteorite, it's, it's thanks above, it's... Calm yourself, man. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm so happy I could kiss you. <laughs> Success is ours. <laughs> Thank you, Atum. I'll be leaving then. Goodbye, Mom. Bye, Dad. W wait, just a minute. Wally? That's right. Are you okay? You looked like you were in trouble recently when those strange thugs came around. Of course. My Pokemon and I are fit for anything. See, Atum got my keystone back for me. And Mr. Norman gave me a ticket to a resort that sounds really neat. I can't wait to go and check it out. My, my. I never dreamed to one day to think that Wally was too well. Yes, but he looks on so on little, little so honestly happy. That I can't think... I can't help but feel happy too. See, those are good supportive parents. I like them. They're cool. Kiss and make up already! <laughs> this conversation isn't proceeding as expected. Ugh. If it has come to this, then I, Tabitha, shall handle this myself. Courtney! Y yes? Apologize to Leader Maxi. <laughs> Ouch. Hurry up, okay? Just say sorry. I'm sorry. Leader Maxi, I'm sorry. I won't do it anymore. I won't do anything like that ever again. So please, for forgive me. Hmm? <laughs> Aw. Uh, what are you... Oh, God. She he made her cry. Maxi, give her a hug. Fine. I understand. Courtney? I, the great Maxi, will forgive you, but only on one condition. Huh? 
You must also forgive me. Courtney, I never imagined, I never could have imagined, how very loyal you were to me. Nor did I imagine even one iota of the shock you must have experienced due to my recent speech and conduct, or how it could have pained you. The one who drove me to such extreme act was me. I am truly sorry for that. You see, Courtney, I would like to start on a new path. There are truths that I have learned because of the mistakes I have made. They pit me against others who are not like me and against the ideals that differ from mine. They tell me of the importance of understanding others, even though we may continue to cause pain to one another. And that holds true whether the opponent I face is human or Pokemon or even the might of nature itself. I will take this step forward free from hesitation and meet my foe. And together we will find a way to create, not destroy. Or so I hope. That is the vision that I and Maxi have for Team Magma's future. Will you come with me on this journey as well, Courtney? Of course I will. Aw, oh, she's crying. My, you certainly do cry a lot. Ha 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 ha! And that settles it! Hey, it's Steven. And Wallace. I still owe you for the help at the Sky Pillar. Thank you for that. <laughs> How unlike you to be so thoughtful. <laughs> you know, this experience really brought it home for me again. But there's still so much about this world that I do not know. I wonder what would have happened to Hoenn if a tomb had not been here to help us with this and the incident with the Super Ancient Pokemon. I alone was powerless to stop either. There's no one person in this world who knows all, and none who can do all. Steven, there's no cause for such worries or concern. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not that I'm so shocked by my own disappointing performance, but rather... Rather what? I was just thinking how much more there is I must learn about nature, about Pokemon, and about my fellow humans as well. If I am to keep living in this huge wide world, I want to walk this world on my own two feet, to see it with my own eyes, to feel it on my very skin. I need to give into practice all of the advice I ever gave to a tomb. That's what I'm thinking now. Huh? Steven, you can't intend to. <laughs> but no need to fear, I won't just disappear at once. I'd still be around doing my duty on behalf of the Pokemon League, but... Hmm. When the time comes for me to pursue my own hopes, well, I hope that you, Wallace, will be behind me to lend a hand. Hmm. It seems I have little choice. I bow to the whims of the pampered hair. Pampered air, Jesus. I, Wallace, will do this thing you wish. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. The pampered hair. I can't believe I said the pampered hair. It's over. It's all over. Zinnia, my child. Granny. You've worked so hard. It is enough, child. Be done with your burden. Let it go now. For everything, there must be an ending. Only then. Only then can there be a new beginning. This is the immutable truth that all living things on this planet, great and small, must accept. We Draconids have seen it in our history, as you have seen it in your own life. Now is the time for rest. Let down the great burden that you have borne so long alone, so that you might at last take a new step forward towards new life. Now is the time for rest. Yes. You just ditched Aster? What the hell? Like, I get it, you know, it's time to let her go because Aster... I'd have to explain the lore in a minute. I suppose May and the tomb have probably arrived by now. Yeah, we just saved the whole damn world. I imagine so. The weather's good today. They should have a good view of the stars. But you know, I'm really glad we moved here from Johto. Johto's the best region, I can't tell you. Stop, don't, don't tell me Hoenn's better. Stop, Gen 2 is the best. 
I think that meeting you, Birch, and Miss Birch, and little May has had a huge impact on a tomb's life. Oh, it's the same for our May. Don't you agree, dear? Oh god, I read that wrong. Of course. Whenever she does make it home, all May has to talk about is Pokemon and her precious friend, Atum. I think she's over the moon about this adventure and the great friend she's found. I think our boy is just the same. He always looks so happy these days. I hope you'll continue to look after our tomb for many years to come. <laughs> Why, Norman, you don't even have to ask. Nothing could make me happier. Thanks, old friend. Well then, dear, isn't it about time we headed back home? I should get supper started. Oh yes, those kids will probably be starving when they get home. Oh, I didn't make any plans for dinner yet. Why don't you... What do you think we should have, dear? Hmm, how about a little boy's favorite? Hi, right, everybody's going home. Dad's actually home now. Yay! Yeah, May, don't worry. I just saved the world again. You know, this casual span of two hours. And you know, after I got drugged by Zinnia, just knocking me out. That was amazing. So those were the Litlanoids. I'm really going to need to thank your dad for this one. Cause, come on. I never felt this touched before. Oh, I guess I should thank you too, Atum. Wow, you guess. I'm so glad I got to see this with you. Announcement. Thank you for visiting the Moss Deep Space Center. The center will be closing shortly. Please make sure that you don't forget anything when you leave. Hmm, it's true what they say though. Time really flies when you're having fun. That it does, May. That it does. Hey, we're home. Well, bye then. A tomb. See you tomorrow. You're back at last. Welcome home, Atum. Pokemon Omega Ruby Delta Episode End. Huh, <sighs> finally. That's it, everyone. Pokemon Omega Ruby has now officially come to a close. So, while I do... Oh, great. More dialogue. Because you guys can't cram more stuff down my throat. Hmm? Morning, Atum. You must have been bushed. You slept like a log. Oh, but before I forget, this came for you from someone named Briny. The SS ticket. Yes. So, it was a fairy ticket, was it? As I recall, you can take the ferry ports from Slateport and Lily Cove. A tomb. If you have ambition as a trainer, I want you to take that ferry to the battle resort. I think it'll teach you that there's no end to a trainer's chosen path. I better be going back to the Pedalberg gym then. Thanks for looking for the house while I'm away, honey. Yep, mom's gonna go bang in my choke again. Here we go. Oh, that dad of yours. Can't you ever forget about work? Now I gotta go find another Machamp. God damn it, I just had him back. I just wish you could switch it off sometimes and take it easy. I need a good ramming because my champs are getting weak. <laughs> oh god, why did I say that? <laughs> oh, I'm cringing. I'm cringing. But I love him just the way he is. Oh, that's sweet. Oh. Help me! Wait, who need? Don't tell me, Professor Birch. I'm trying to end this, this damn let's play and we come back to this? The Shroomish. Ain't this a flashback? Oh, what if it isn't a tomb? <laughs> Help the professor out. I've got some Pokeballs in my bag there. Oh. Oh. Hey, it's my boys from Gen 2. Let's go! 
Cinder Quill. It's my boy. Thanks. Oh my. It's a good thing that Shroomish wasn't as fierce as it seemed. I sure do appreciate you trying to help me out, though. In fact, why don't you keep that Pokemon? Yes, it's the one from the Jota region. -na 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 -na. Hey, I got myself a Cyndaquil. Oh, hope to see you later. I somehow get the feeling that if I will, I'll stick around around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, as I was trying to say, there are little things you could do post-game now that, you know, you could do to sort of explore the game and, you know, get stuff going. Like, let me, I might as well show it off since I never truly showed it off with the Eon Flute. Huh. I never realized we never did this at night, huh? The music's different. Alright, but you see these little twinkling red spots? Some of these are locations that you can only access during the day or night, but also some of them are legendary places. Let's see if I can find one of the legendary ones. Uh, I believe this is one, actually. I think I ran into one earlier uh, in the Let's Play. I don't remember if I did or not. But post-game, you can go to the Battle Frontier. Yeah, this is one of them. But you can go in here. Clear air surrounds the area, making you feel strong. You can go in here. You talk to this portal, a legendary Pokemon shows up. They'll only show up on specific days and in specific areas and under specific conditions. Now, I don't know if you guys want me to go through and try to catch all the legendaries, obviously besides the Oxus, unfortunately, but I can if you want to. It's It'll take some time because they only appear at certain days and at certain times. So, if you want me to do that, let me know. Leave something in the comments. Just say, hey, you know, go catch all the Pokemon. You know, complete the decks. Do what you want. Or I can hit up the Battle Frontier and do some of the challenges there. I personally don't like the Battle Frontier that much, though. It's kind of RNG, and the game will really try to jerk you over with it. But, I digress. That's it for, you know, Pokemon Omega Ruby for the foreseeable future. Unless, you know, you guys comment and there's like a huge, like, following for it and you guys want to see more, let me know. But I will catch you all here next time on, you know, whatever Let's Play I start next. And there are a few options that I got running around in my head right now. There's, I'm going to start a new series soon. And it's going to be a bi-weekly series. But you'll have those episodes out specifically on Fridays. Like, that, that's a series that I'm going to start every two weeks, and it's going to be a new episode every other Friday. So, that's going to be a fun one to do. I might make it weekly. I'm not sure. But, other than that, we got, you know, Borderlands should be a little over halfway now, because I already fought off Bloodwing. You know, that episode's already up and aired. I recorded another episode after that, and I got to... I'm not going to spoil it, but I got a little bit further, and then... I've got maybe like seven or eight more chapters, at least in my head, I think. Like seven or eight more after that. Because there, there's not much. The game wraps up surprisingly fast. But the other issue is um, DLC content for Borderlands. I got to get that as well done. And then let's see, what else is there? There's Borderlands I got to get done. Disgaea. By... By the time this episode is up, you should be getting either the final episode the day after, or I should be doing this the penultimate episode, I should call it. It'll be the final episode for a while, because I think it's just DLC content that I gotta get, and then, you know, just grinding out levels for Super super Overlord Tyrant Ball and his jerk wholeness. But that's gonna take me a few weeks to prep, so don't expect that one anytime soon, guys. And then, you know, I got, the like I said, the new series that I'm going to put out, and I'm actually thinking of two games that I might do to replace, you know, the gap that's going to be left by Disgaea and Pokemon, because all I have left is Borderlands and No Man's Sky. There's three games I have in mind. I might just do one of those games per day, so that way there's a new episode each day and then you know specific days have specific content that you guys can watch 
But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time where we start a new Let's Play. So, check you all later. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and hit the like. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know if you want me to catch all the legendaries or not. I could do it. Like, or I say, hey, Monday legendaries, and then, you know, here are all the Monday legendaries you can get. But, I digress. Uh, leave a comment down below. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button if you already have, and hit that notification bell so that way you're part of the notification squad. You see all the episodes as they get uploaded. And then I'll catch you all here next time. Have a great day, everyone.